Hey everyone, and welcome to another Sasquatch Theory investigation in Southern Missouri. In this episode, I will be meeting up with the Half Inch Wrench crew and some other researchers that have been on the channel in the past, and we will be looking for Bigfoot. There has been many ice sighting encounters in this area for a few generations, and the nearby neighbors have been having Bigfoot activity as well. The goal is to set up camp where the Sasquatch have been seen in the past, and hopefully, we will be right in the middle of all the action. The terrain in this part of Missouri holds a lot of granite, pine trees, and spring-fed creeks that have an abundance of fish and wildlife. When we do these investigations, we don't really know what to expect and anything can happen at any given moment, so it's difficult to capture the activity. And my goal is for one, to be standing in the open or at the edge of the woods long enough for me to film Bigfoot. I have had more encounters on trails and in people's yards rather than being in the deep woods with Sasquatch. They like to play by their rules and terms and it seems like they find you and not the other way around. I had enough footage on this investigation to make two separate videos, so be sure to tune back in if you want to see the rest of the investigation. I want to thank everyone who has supported the channel and the people who have donated equipment and help fund these investigations. I certainly want to give a special shout out to Adam and his family from the Half Inch Wrench crew for donating the hex suit and to Bill who donated the Fox Pro game collar. You guys are amazing and be sure to keep all of us in your prayers. If you guys can, please like and subscribe. Be sure to comment and hit the bell notification if you can. All right, guys, let's dive straight into the forest and let's start our investigation in Southern Missouri. Game camera got ripped off the trees? Yeah. It's been on this tree for a while. That string, you can see where it's been pulled on. Yeah. It's stretched out. I checked mine the other day. It's on like a little swivel mount. You can aim it. It's like on a magnetic ball. It was aiming straight down. So I don't know if a squirrel got up there and just pushed it down or what. But Or um, I was like, yeah, yeah. crackhead. But I had it like 10 foot up in the tree. Oh my god, it's either a squirrel or a squatch, but I haven't checked it. I just got a stick and like pushed it back up. Yeah, those crows have been going off. That was weird, that thump that we heard earlier. It was like thump, thump, thump. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that was just something at the house. But your dad was like, did you guys hear that when we went up there? Yeah, that's what I said. It might be the camper, the house. And then we got up there and dad's like, did you guys hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh, we thought that was you guys. Oh, that was up there. Up the road, or up the river. Yeah. Yeah, but when me and your dad, when me and your dad were first standing there, when I first got here, he showed up right behind me. We heard something down here. Like a woo, woo, woo. It wasn't a dog, though. Like, what I just did sounds like a dog, but I don't know what kind of sound it was. I was like, do you hear that? He's like, we hear that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah, I got one on here from last weekend I want you to listen to. Yeah? That's... Pretty good vocalization. I, I wouldn't say it's good, but I, I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. It was like a. Oh. This is five or six times. Uh -huh. I'm sitting there in my tent, you know, recording myself like you are now. Mm. And Brittany was sleeping beside me, and I, I she was snoring a little bit, so I kind of elbowed her, and she stopped for a brief second. Mm. Hey, hey, you were trying to wake her up. Like, Listen. She was out, man. She didn't. She don't remember any of it. Really? But I did have this rolling. Yeah. Crows are out, man. Um, I haven't heard too much out of my place. It's like, the more I look, the less I find or hear or see. I don't get it. I'm just waiting for them to come back again. I'll probably be like 40, 60 years old when they come back and I'll be like, there they are. Time, <laughs> Time to, to kick into action, yeah. Well, I mean, like how they were before, how active they were, and non-caring. Well, yeah, there's a lot of granite rock out here. A lot of pink granite. With it being cloudy, like, the color's off of my camera. Like, what looks pink looks kind of gray. <laughs> Everything's kind of faded with the cloudy weather. The water's flowing pretty good. 
come down here in the summertime, dude. We'll have to pull it down through here. Is your phone going off? Oh, dude, man. Mm. Yeah, that'd be cool. They say there's a lot of fish out here, but the size of some of these shells from these clams is ginormous. I've seen a lot of big ones. They're kind of really neat looking. Like they have this pearl color to them. But yeah, there's a lot of pink granite around here. Oh, we got a squatch right there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it kind of makes sense why they move through here. It's like a s strip of woods. They get funneled in here, but there's like a lot of food from what I can see. A lot of clamshells. It's just littered with clamshells everywhere. Yeah. There's got to be a lot of fish in there. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Was that from us? Doesn't really look like it. It's still wet in there too. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of weird how the top part's a lot bigger than the bottom part. But I mean... There's another one right there. Yeah, there's like another indention. Kind of something right there. But I'm not really seeing toes, but I guess that don't mean anything. About the same size as my foot. Um, let's see. Step. Well, that's pretty darn deep, huh? Because, like, look at mine. That was your attempt? Uh huh. That's pretty deep. I don't know. It is kind of wide at the tip of it. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. You got a 3D scan? Let's see if I can remember how to get to it. There's a little bit done right there, too. <laughs> yeah. There is a, there was a burrow we walked Yeah. It happened every single day to that guy. I'm pretty sure when we were there, he took me to the spot where you guys had a tree fall over. Mm -hmm. Freaking tree fell over. But it was like a, you know, like a skinnier one. It just fell over on its own. The last time you went down there? Yeah. Where he was showing me where you had the tree pushed over, another one came over. Well, we saw it fall over. I was like, that's kind of weird. As soon as you're talking about it, no wind. And then, boop, boop. yep, just falls right over. Yeah, that sucks about my parabolic mic. The clip broke. That was my fault, though. I was trying to put the big end into that little plastic clip and it just snapped the plastic. I'm like, dang. So I'm going to have to buy another one. You guys hear that? Like, comment, and share the crap out of this video. Help uh, help Miguel out. This yeah. cost this guy a lot of money to do this. Nah, ain't no big deal. This only, guy's helped me out a lot. It only takes a couple seconds to hit that like button. Yeah. It costs nothing. Hopefully I can give him something to like though. But yeah, I broke this little piece right here. But I mean, it's on there. It'll work out just like that. I just gotta get a new clip. There's always something breaking. My camera broke too. Um, my, my little Panasonic. This thing broke right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I don't know. You can't see it, but the plastic broke on the camera and it's got like a little metal guard and it all broke. It sucks. My back's hurting from weightlifting and your back's hurting too from. Carrying this thing around. <laughs> He's got a little squatch in there. Now. <laughs> I got a little bit of sasquatch in there. No, I'm good on. It's going to be rough. I think we just need to like sit down lay down like bill and just relax for a little bit and i think the soreness would go away but man i keep getting a feeling about over there i don't know why i mean there's nothing over there but i just keep looking over there i'm like something's watching us that drops down really 
And if I was standing around, you could probably only see from like my chest up. So if one was just over there doing this, dude, it'd be really hard to see it. Yeah. Could be. Could be. They could be watching us right now. Hopefully they come in tonight. Hopefully we see something. I don't know if anyone else has shown up tonight, but we're waiting on some other guys. The Ozark Harry man, Steve, and um, not Steve from How to Hunt, but the other Steve. The other Steve. Yeah, he's gonna want to cast that print like you said. Yeah. I thought about bringing mine, but I was like, man, if I leave it out in the truck, it's gonna get real hard, rock solid in there. I don't know. Not sure. Where's Bill? Bill's over there sleeping. Sleeping? Yep. Yeah. You drop your phone. Try to get a nap in so that way. We can stay up. Yeah. We've been talking about Steve. Steve's here. Say hi to the camera. Hey, camera. Hello. I'm, I'm loaded. What's up, Lula? There's the squatch hunting dog right mm -hmm. there. She's, She's getting pretty. old, but. She's real pretty. She can. Uh, Aren't you pretty? Oh, you're showing your lip? Well, it's because she always got one cane mm. and it makes her lip kind of. What do you got back here? Some wood? Yeah, I got wood. I got. What's uh, this? That's my uh, yard jockey that I picked up. It's okay. pretty scary. If we can use them to put hang a lantern, I don't know if anybody has a lantern. But... Yeah, I got an O light. Well, not a lantern, but a light. I wonder if y'all brought us uh, propane heater. Because if Joe's coming late, it's going to be hard to set up. Mm. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. Yeah. You bring the hobo dinner? Yeah, I got him. Okay, cool. The only problem with it is they're uh, exceeding almost two pounds. Yeah. Can't eat them all. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be I brought um, chicken, a bunch of food. Well, th this is enough for everybody because I'm doing a uh, hobo dump cake, too. We got some Casey's pizza there if you want some. Made my stomach a little turn, but it'll be all right. MSG. Yeah. Yeah. I brought my Cabela's chair. I'm thinking. Oh, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Big I love one? it. Yeah. I actually almost forgot mine. I looked through the house and it was in plain sight. But mm -hmm. what river is this? St. Francis. What's this creek called? Stouts Creek. Scotts. Stouts. Stouts Creek. Okay. okay. Oh, that is creepy. That might get some attention right there. Put a lantern on there. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah. He's only got four toes and four fingers. Oh, poor guy. Kind of looks that way, don't he? He looks like some of the people from around Missouri. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> like my cousin Albert. Yep. What we got over here? What's that noise? That Lulu over there. All right, so we're messing with the Fox Pro game call. People use this for coyote hunting, but it has fox calls, bobcat calls, rabbit in distress. We're just gonna try it out. I don't know how to do it. Mm, you got it set up pretty good, I think. Um. See, I don't know how to do it either. We'll have to get Adam over here to help us out. Oh my gosh. I'm hitting it. Why does it say why every time? Like, why don't it work? Well, that's good. Let's go down there and get Adam. Yeah, yeah. We found a track, but we don't know if it's human or squatch. All right, we'll... Oh, nice. Was that turned on, though? Is that why it wasn't working? No, right here, so you turned it on. Okay, yeah, turn it on. Let's see. And you hit the menu, I guess, huh? Yeah. yeah, we're trying to figure this out. Is that how you do it? Yeah. So. Coyotes. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Sounds real good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. All right. Yeah, I got me one of these chairs too. I like it. Hell yeah. This one's got a little table. All right, my friend. You want to blast some stuff? No, it's yours. You sure? Why'd you buy it and you don't want it? Dude, I was having a bad day yesterday. Uh-huh. The volume up. Mm-hmm. Come here, Lala. You guys want to meet? You guys can 19 hang out right there. Mm-hmm. She sees her. It turns it back down. If you don't blast at full blast, 
Is that on? Man, that's real good. I don't know. Maybe we turned it off. Oh, it's off. Oh yeah. We stopped dinner trying. Oh. <laughs> good. Bill just gave that to me. Awesome. <laughs> Bobcat one sounds creepy. Did you hear that? Oh, it was dad. Okay. That sounded like good morning. Right, no. right in the back. Someone's knocking. Oh, that's Bill's new little gadget. Now I'm on. What the hell is that? Bobcat. Sound like a goat getting its leg ripped off. <laughs> that sounds like Joe's. Uh, Joe does a, a call like that. It sounds like that. I call he it does. The, the deer getting its leg ripped off. He said it's really hard on his vocals, but man, it gives you the goosebumps. Is that Bill's? He bought it, but now I'm buying it off him, I guess, huh? You're buying it off him? Mm -hmm. oh, I asked him if he'd sell it to me. He's like, yep. It, don't he need it, though? I don't know. That's what I said. Okay. Okay. Let's check out the walkies. How many decibels does it put Do out? a rabbit in distress call. Well, that's going to drive rabbit me Rabbit distress. Nuts. Ooh, there's a bunch to pick from. Should we do... Dying Jack. Okay, Dying Jack. That'd be cool if you can do a big foot vocal that's like 100. So I don't think it's loud enough compared to Very cool. Animals. What do you think? They're coming. <laughs> They're coming now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh no, you gotta spend the night in there. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh I, yeah. I should have brought a metal tent. I'm not scared. I got, I got my bait, tent. your son. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel's gonna be a tree burrito. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, apparently the smell of dogs brings them in. That's what the guy was saying from um well, licking. But when the hogs came in, they're trying to kill his puppy. Right. And apparently. Okay. I think he, he said play it. He, he just said that, and Shelby got activity when he got the puppy, and so did we. We're right here in a travel corridor I too. I stick like that too. That's, that's, they both gags. that's what I use it for. I need to wrap the, uh, the handle with like rubber or something because every once in a while when I hit it. So yeah, that's, that's what sucks cool. about that. That was from last time. Yeah. Yeah, I got lumps in my hand. Yeah. So they're, they're yeah, different. Just, See, too. Shelby had seen it right here. Mm -hmm. So there's one years, side in class years, A. Years of... Sabrina seen it a week. A week later, mm. and I worked so on the other side of his truck outside. when they had to pull. Another so class. What'd she see? She, Shelby, Sabrina, and the kids were in the pool swimming. One there, and yeah, that's what I have. One right in the middle. I'm just wondering if it's a system. And she seen it peeking, and when they made eye contact, it spun around its hill and headed back in the woods this way. She started grabbing the kids, I'm getting out of here. I, I seen it, and Shelby's like, what do you mean? And then Shelby could hear it going through the woods. So Shelby didn't see it that time, but he heard it. Mm, yeah. And it freaked right. her out. And then dead center. dad and mom seen it right here, walk from our left to the right towards the road. And it's eye shine was silver. And you said that it's, ice, it's 
was like its legs were like brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. But the rest of it was, it was black. I thought it was deer because it was over there and it was it was kind of one side it was on one side of the tree and the other side was on, and I never even seen this side. I just seen the brown like that's that's white looking at the brown and then I seen the brown move and I realized the black move and then it it walked straight up through there. Who's that? Uh, those are carry man. Those are carry man has arrived. But I suspect that the two tone color was possibly mud on its lower half. Um, it could get louder. Yeah, you get it too loud. It could be from running through the creek of mud. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, let me see. Halfway up. Yeah, and I heard it good. No, no, a little less than halfway. You heard it pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it right before it gets dark, and we'll see what happens. Hundred yards away. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hundred yards away. Hundred yards away. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I got the the recorder too, but the only problem is that water. I know. Yeah. But it was brown. Is that uh, Joe? Through the woods, you know. That's yeah. Joe. Looking through it, and right up there, and I was looking cool. at it, and I was looking for brown, and then I seen the black move, and you know, the brown and the black there. could be, but it's and true only, color. The only thing I could do is head up there. Adam was in the front of the house cooking hamburgers, and all I could do is try to get to him and tell him that it was headed toward the road. I would bet his his true hair color would have been black. Oh, yeah, it was dark. He went like he was like walking through the woods and he went just like that, about that fast. Whoop, whoop. And I could see like silver. Two little silver. Just like that. Also, I've seen different eye shines from different light sources. Depends on what color your light is. Like a campfire, I've seen him walking it. It kind of resembles. She didn't like the vocalizations, huh? No, it scared her. Shivering, huh? It's okay. It's okay. Girl. Yeah, if we can find a good spot for you, I think right here would be all right, but there's a lot of humps everywhere. <laughs> it's not very You got a big tent too? You got the Cabela's? Yeah, well, I got two Cabela's. I got the big horn and I got the, the little mm -hmm. teepee one that I like. It's a medium size. Yeah. I brought that one because you said you're sleeping in the hammock, going to sleep in this truck, so. Mm -hmm. No sense in bringing the big one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Actually, it's, pretty good. it's not bad. I mean. What do we got there? Oh yeah, he's got a freaking awesome lunch. Yeah. He hit a deer, but he got it upgraded and I like that better. They say when you do that, it's not worth as much anymore. I'm like, what? Well, it's get, not worth as much. Like when you get rid of like the original bumper and everything, you get one of these um, aftermarket. aftermarket ones, yeah. I'm getting one for my truck and it's $300. Yeah. To me, it's worth more. Because I hit a deer and tore up my, my last truck. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Deer Central out here. Dude, I gotta bring you guys to this new spot. This thing has a big tube on the outside that keeps you in the center and you can roll over and sleep on your side. Yeah. You can even suck your thumb and get away with it, man. <laughs> yeah. On this yeah, I imagine me sleeping on the top with me. It could be like, hey, put a bunch of shit out of me. Guys, the stove's going downhill. There's like a two by four laying around here that we could. Uh, you know what? Piece of wood. Got some flat rocks in the river. Yeah, a couple of them on the whichever side sloping. Just two of them, maybe. Big rat. Yeah, it's hard to tell with all the people around, giggers, people gigging in the in the creek. You hear that thump? Oh, it's hard to tell with the creek running. Let's go in night vision mode. It's a cat. There's a cat sitting on that log. You got Luke over here. You got a hominid.
All right, so we got a big storm rolling in tonight. I think it's going to last about four hours or so, but. You hear that? What was that? Yes, sir. Is that what that was? Is that up that power line strip over there? Maybe they can hear it better from the yard. Someone's coming our way, so maybe they heard it too. Probably, probably Brittany. <clears throat> I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Get your stuff. Are they wood knocking? It's hard to tell. Someone's coming. They'll let us Brittany. know. They can probably hear better from the yard. Because we're in here in the woods, next to the creek, it's just really hard to hear. Don't say anything, just see if she says something. Okay. What's going on? Are you recording? Yeah. No. What you guys got going on over there? Oh, uh, just... Campfire conversations. Yeah. Don't really hear anything over there. You can pop it like that though. Yeah. You get Joe talking, he can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's a good guy though. I was wondering about uh, how often do you get people that invite you to go out to their property? I can't hear over everyone at the campfire. Yeah. We thought we heard something up that way. And um, I was taking a leak earlier and I heard something <gasps> to the right of their tent, like a thump, like something loud. I'm serious guys, I think we need to walk down to the rocks. We gotta get away from them because they're not gonna be here because it's too much. They're gonna be watching well, from a distance. I think where we're at right now is perfect because they're there <laughs> having their talks, yeah. being loud, having the fire. The Sasquatch is going to come in, they're going to see them and do what they do to us. And they're going to come right through here. Well, and I, we're right here. Yeah. Well, listen, you guys are wearing your hex suits. Do you think it would be better if I just lift you guys? No, you're fine. <laughs> they won't sense us and they'll see that you're here. Oh, here comes the giggers again. Yeah, so. The gigging boat. We're just down here getting ready to run parabolics and thermals. And I don't know where comes the gigging boat. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is, is there's no boat ramp. I mean, they, they, they can be there and they're having a good time, but just terrible timing for us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Try to buy some fish off of them. Yeah. You need to call Shelby. Why? And tell him to come back here. Why? Because. To like film for you guys? Yeah, yeah. To, to come down here and hang out with us. Does he got to work tomorrow? No. no. Okay, cool. It's well, Saturday. He's, 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 uh, Trying to explain things and it's not getting anything out. <laughs> it's not a boulder. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's the people gigging. You guys see any Sasquatch? Yeah, hell, we just seen two of them up river. Mm-hmm. All my stuff's gonna be wet tomorrow. Oh, you should just totally go grab that new IR light. Yeah, try it out. Yeah, it's gonna be hard with these people. What do you guys got? You hear that? You hear that? Mm -mm. Yeah, like something through a rock. Right on. Throw a rock back. Like that way. Oh, oh. Did you think I'm walking? I'm going to go grab my thermal camera. 
What's that? There's a door. There's a door in the house. It's over there now. It's right there. There's something right there. Hey, I got... Dude, I saw something huge right there. I guess it could have been his truck. I can see something that can't walk down this way. <laughs> She's like, I ain't screaming. Because I'm used to hearing people out here. So I don't yeah, the thermal looks surprisingly good today. Are, are those the Giggers? Yeah. I see light. The only thing I hate about this thermal is when you look up, everything turns red. I don't like that. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. Because there could be one up in a tree. Tried to camp out, we got surrounded. By Sasquatch? We don't know. Oh, okay. Something, wasn't it? I'd like to say it's a Sasquatch because it would do a Ooh. tree knock. Like, Ooh. Ooh. Don't you stay in the truck, Cletus? Jim said they're clearing out the. Oh my god, that monkey in front of the tent. <laughs> that freaked what? me out. That little monkey that Steve has that... Why the fuck would you bring that out here? I don't know. It freaked me out. I was like, there's one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you hear her walking out? See, that's where I heard that noise earlier. I said it coming from this way. That's when I poked you. And I sound like I heard over here and we walked through here. I can still hear it going over here to my right. No, I heard something break over there. Did you hear that? Yep. Yeah. It's hard to tell with Steve over there now. There's something moving in the air. It's hard to see through on the thermal. Uh huh. I noticed the thermal got a lot worse. Storm's definitely coming, I guess. Oh, we got Joe over here. Yep. Yeah, I can hear that straight down that one. Game camera is no longer on the tree. Where is it? On the ground. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was on the ground. Yeah. You getting the camera down there? It was on, it was, it's on the ground. Facing down? Like, ropes broke. Here. Strange activity happening. All of a sudden, like, this warm air blew in. Like, really hot air. I don't know where that came from. Like, stove hot air. Yeah, I would say it was at least 65. Whoa, do you feel that? Kind of yeah. like these warm... It's like, it's like, you know when you're at the beach? Yeah. Like someone blew their breath in your face like that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah like difference. real warm. I've it, never felt that before. Normally, like, you like, feel like cold hit you, you know, oh, the temperature's changing. It or it's getting... To it. Yeah, that was weird. I've never experienced that in my life. See, because I'm freezing. It was real cold, and all of a sudden it was like stove hot air. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, oof. I wonder if they yeah. felt it. Or was this from here? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was right here. Yeah. Never experienced that in my life. That's right, weird. Wow. Yeah, that was weird. I got one too. <laughs> too bad you can't feel it on right camera. Out, right? 3D. I, I'm not kidding you. Seems like the star of the writer. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. You were, you were just talking about the rain. It yeah. Was like, Boom. I feel a shift in the wind. Like somebody opened up the stove. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm glad you guys experienced that too. Not gonna lie, that felt really good. It felt good. That was weird. I've never <laughs> had that happen weird. in my life. Yeah. Huh. Something weird happened there. You think that was like a portal or something? I don't know what that was, man. I, I tell you what, though, I'm wide awake now. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but I've never in my life felt that. Uh, never. Wow. That'll be one for the books. Maybe they Look opened up. up dude, see the stars? Maybe they opened up like their tent and all that hot air came towards There's us. No, dude, it came from this way though. Yeah, it came from that way towards the creek. It, yeah, like, but the wind was like blowing. Like yeah. the wind like picked up and it's not windy. No. Wow. Weird. Maybe we felt a door to another dimension. Like something opened up. I, I know that sounds crazy to say, but what explanation do we have for that? Okay. That's kind of weird. Cause yeah, that's a new one for me. Just having her here. She's a twin. And there's supposedly something that has to do with twins and s spiritual stuff like that. Hmm. That's wild. That's like night and day difference of when they're... Mm -hmm. Temperature. I was like, wow. I'm gonna have to readjust my tent. I had to move those stakes over because people kept tripping over, and I was afraid people were gonna <laughs> run it over. This should give me a temperature. Yeah, possibly.
Yeah, I was just wide awake. I couldn't sleep. And I heard two whoops over here. Luke heard it. He was like, maybe it was Adam. Or maybe it was Shelby. Uh, oh, it's a squirrel. Yeah, it's a um, tree squirrel. He just went down to the ground. Good morning guys. I'm feeling pretty rough. Um, the Sasquatch went off last night. I was sleeping in my hammock, still awake. It was probably around um, a little bit after midnight and I heard two distinct whoops. And um, I got up immediately, threw on my shoes, grabbed my thermal, did one whoop back and um, went to the spot where I heard it. I didn't see any heat signatures and the bad thing is I had my all my stuff put up in my truck because it was supposed to rain and um, I guess some of the other guys were up and they're like hey was that you I said no I did a whoop but before that I heard some some pretty good whoops down there and um, Bill he had his audio recorder out and he already told me when I first got here that I can take that recorder home and see what's on it so guys fingers crossed I think we got something good but I mean, it's audio, it's not video footage, so people will just say, oh, that was you guys. But I assure you guys it wasn't, and hopefully, hopefully we got something good. But yeah, this morning it was really cold and windy. It's actually um, colder than what it was last night, so it's pretty rough. I'm feeling rough. I feel like an old man. My teeth hurt, my back hurts, my toes hurt. My whole body hurts, but um, I'm having fun. All the other people are asleep right now, and um, I woke up, heated up some water, started the fire back up. I got some coffee going, and um, yeah. It's gonna be a rough day, guys, but I'm confident we'll find something. I bet I look pretty rough right now, but I don't know. I need to go back to working full time. I don't know how long I can do this, guys, but I'm gonna try to do it as long as possible. They're out here. They just don't wanna play. I'm waiting for the other guys to wake up so we can do something today. The plan is to go way back out that way and explore the Mark Twain National Forest. We're going to go to the spot where we heard the whoops and um, try to see if we can find any tracks. I doubt it. There's tracks all over the place, but I think it's from us. We'll see you guys. Alright, there's Bill's audio recorder and that's one that I gave to him. So I'm really glad I did. We shall see you guys. There should be some good whoops. I heard the whoops from right over there. Two distinct whoops. And um, I'm not sure what they wanted. Like I said, I went to that spot. I started recording with the thermal and I just didn't capture too much. I saw like a heat signature back there kind of moving behind the trees, but I'm pretty sure it was a little critter. Some thick stuff in here though. Good old Missouri land for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you guys the habitat that they were in. There's the driveway. But yeah, on one side of the driveway, they're in there. I heard the whoops, I would say probably right about in here. Right in there. I guess it's somebody else's driveway, but it's like a strip of woods. But there's some big forest back that way. Pretty big woods. And that's where we're planning on heading to today. And we're just going to explore, see what we can find, see what's going on. Man, I wish it was warmer out. 
But as you guys can see, there's like a little power line strip that goes through here. Waterway. I'm thinking this property is right in between their travel corridor. Or I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore, guys, but they're in here.